FBC Jenkins Limited Leadership Course has been making an indelible mark on aspiring leaders around the Federation. And this year, it will be celebrating its 10th anniversary. Joining us, uh, is, joining us this morning is Peter Jenkins, the founder and lecturer of the CFBC Jenkins Limited Leadership Course. Good morning, Mr. Jenkins. Welcome to Good Morning SKN and congratulations on your 10th anniversary. Yes, uh, good morning and thank you both for having me on the program this morning. Happy it's a privilege. To join us this morning. Oh, pleasure Mr. indeed. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the collaboration between the CFBC and the Jenkins Limited to create the leadership course. Well, it started way back. <laughs> way back. Uh, if I can start in terms of where it began. Yes. It took me seven years really to create the program okay. that is to create the curriculum okay going back a bit at 12 i was involved in the social and educational association i was a founding member I was at the Basti high school okay at the same time i joined the cadet corps oh. and i learned those days we call it man management okay and uh methods of instruction okay got up to the rank of adult on the officer and had quite a bit of training in leadership. Then I went off to university and I did my master's in construction engineering and management and I learned quite a bit about management and leadership there. Came back to think it was involved in many organizations including the Chamber of Commerce, our football association and there I went to FIFA and got a lot of training mm -hmm. in leadership again and in uh, marketing in particular, branding. They taught us quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So having had that knowledge and experience, I decided that, you know, I had to do something about the country because the two degrees I got or received, I got them free. I got them mm -hmm. scholarships from the Canadian government, okay. my first degree in civil engineering and my second degree in construction engineering and management. So I had an obligation. In addition, I was a third chance child. I went to high school at 13. Mm. I was in the second group for the free comprehensive system of education. And I got in by just a nick. Eustace Esdale and Mr. Sutton had special classes in Easter and as a result I got in. Okay. Having tried the exam three times. So I was a third chance trial. But what really clinched it is that I was diagnosed with prostate cancer Ooh. in 2011. Oh, and I went to Miami and did the operation and came back. So that's around 2012. Okay. Not knowing how much time I had. Okay. And I said, no, you can't go to the grave with all this. All the talents. Yeah. So you have to find a way to pass this information on. Sure yes? Do, yes. And so, but I had started in 2005 to put the curriculum together, okay. mainly when I traveled because I had time to think. So the jottings were on like napkins and pieces of paper, you know, <laughs> but I had a folder for it, okay, for right. all that information. So when I got back from Miami, I said, this is it, you have to, but there was doubt. Would they be accepted? or responsive to a homegrown leadership program, they're going to say, you don't know what you're talking about. Only the experts come from outside. Mm -hmm. So there was that self-doubt. But in, I remember I left my office. I didn't drive. Had my bag and I walked up to CFPC. And I got to see the principal at the time, Dr. Hermie Morton Anthony. And... Uh, Immediately, she said, yes, Peter, we will do this. Mm -hmm. It was around the same time that we were celebrating our independence. And I said, it would be an independence gift because it would give us the opportunity to give back. So yes. Jenkins Limited has done all of the 
preparation, marketing, management, all of those things at no cost. Okay, mm -hmm. good stuff. Whatever good is stuff. paid as fees goes to the college. So this is our contribution to, to St. Kitts and Nevis. And in addition, our ghetto guy coming out of Mac Knight Avenue and a privilege to show that something can be done for me. Indeed, exactly. a fascinating story there, Mr. Jenke. But Indeed. can you share with us how has the course evolved since its inception over the years? Well, I can give a couple examples in terms of how it has evolved in the sense that to qualify, you have to do the, the cohort has to do a business project and a community yeah. project. Mm -hmm. Community because we wanted to reconnect with the communities and get them to understand that they have an obligation to serve their communities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the business project to teach them that money is important, you invest, but you have to make a profit. Mm -hmm. So those two projects have done quite a bit. Icon Spark is an example of how the course has evolved. Okay. Icon Spark is the, the community project for cohort seven, okay. right? And I think that was a, a crowning moment in terms of how the course evolved into the, the community mm -hmm. and how they expressed their interest in serving the community. There was also a bus stop in Bellevue. Okay. Uh, they also did that one. There's been oh. assistance to Addis Place. But Icon Spark, I think, is the, the image before the public that has shown how the course has grown. Uh, from a business point of view, in the, the course, each person has to come up with a, an invention, something new in the world, or right. adapt, or change something, modify something. And what we find now is that a number of persons have developed businesses as a mm. result, new businesses. We have people in candle making, people making drinks, mm. people in automotives, uh, people in uh, hairdressing, different uh, facets. Some of them not full time, but doing it as cottage out of their homes. But a number of the students have gotten the confidence that listen, I can too. Because that was one of the hidden things in the program, in right. that we felt that people were being, and I felt they were being railroaded by the foreigners and were losing confidence in themselves. And we had to show them, no, hmm. our people have been great all along of and course. all over the world making great contributions. Yes. You can too. And Indeed. so that was part of the, one of the hidden. And I think uh, I can say that it has evolved. So who Still are evolved. some of the notable persons that would have been part of your cohort that is making an indelible mm. um, contribution to and on the nation presently? Can you name a few of them? I, I, I hesitate to do that because okay. Uh, okay. all are. Oh, okay, okay. All so I'm, you don't want anybody to feel all that they're no, 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 no favoritism. No favoritism. Oh, okay, there no problem. That are, and they are fair in enough. institutions at top levels. Uh, Ross University, mm. Ministry of Health, uh, Police, mm. Commission of Police is oh, nice. from cohort two. Oh, mm. nice. Uh, Congratulations. The only police officer above the rank of inspector that did the program. Oh, nice. mm. I, I'm, I'm not saying that's the reason why he's commissioner, but he did the program. <laughs> <laughs> and we're speaking with Mr. Peter Jenkins, the founder and lecturer of the CFBC's Jenkins Limited Leadership Course and we are joined with Kimani Phillips, a cohort ninth student. Welcome to this set, Kimani. Welcome. Thank Happy you for having me. Oh, pleasure. Indeed, indeed. So Kimani, how has the leadership course been to you? It has been life-changing, <laughs> mainly because in the past, I've been a reserved, shy person, quote unquote, even though I have a past in pageantry and modeling. I never used my words and now look at me, I'm here having this interview with you guys. So that is a step out of my comfort zone and there are other areas and aspects within my life that has changed since I've started this journey. Okay, so how did you get involved with cohort number nine? Actually, I had a friend who was a part of cohort eight okay. and when it ended, he 
notified me about it and i said well i have a slight interest unbeknownst slight. to me though he went ahead and registered me <laughs> and told me so the day of you. the class wow. so yes i attended and i have no regrets i love that awesome, i love that awesome. and can you share with us some of your personal highlights of being a part of the cohort so far so a few of the personal highlights would be networking definitely the course promotes networking mm. also we have an aspect where we recognize and highlight icons as mr jenkins oh. mentioned earlier so that was a very informative venture for for us because we have to go out into the community mm. to gain that information and opportunities opportunities are created and as he said he's creating a whole league of business personnel so the opportunities are there for us how many persons were part of your cohort well we started with about 24 persons mm -hmm. yes and that is a relatively is. small cohort compared to the other years said? yes wow that sounds big for me 24. <laughs> that's a lot wow hmm. And Mr. Jenkins, can you share with us her growth as a leader throughout the course? Her growth? Oh, her growth? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Mr. Jenkins laughing? <laughs> she would tell me that she's shy. Mm -hmm. And that we couldn't get her to, you know, every time there was an opportunity to go before the public. Mm -hmm she would be hesitant and shy no nowadays she makes the arrangements Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Yes. <laughs> and would prepare the scripts you know that would be that they would use mm -hmm. on occasions uh do the research and provide the without my prompting mm -hmm. you know and uh, she would direct me to uh, i expect a response by this time so that i could <laughs> so what? so that's that's Excellent. Big, big quantum leap for me. Yes. Uh, there were some other things which she was stubborn on that I had to use psychology and you know, <laughs> all of those things to get to come around to understand that it is in her interest. And eventually she did. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I'm really proud of her. Really yes. proud of her. And she understands giving back. And she understands commitment, oh. loyalty, dedication. And she's a team player. Because oh. what we have is over the years, we we mesh past students with new students okay. into what we call the management group. And she has meshed in very well. She listens to the senior, senior uh, students yes. from the program and they love her. Yeah. Uh, so it says <laughs> something about her. Just in inspiring and so on, so inspiring. And can you share with us a little bit about the upcoming uh, graduation for cohort tonight? Yes, with the that is going to be on the sixth, on the sixth <laughs> of June. Okay. That's, okay. that's the sixth of June is going to be the graduation, five thirty at the CFBC Burton Street. Okay, and we expect that that cohort will graduate. There'll be a guest speaker. As in the usual, the usual items, okay. and we look forward to these are normally class items that captures their journey. Okay. Yes, yeah? so they have oh, to put nice. something, whether it's in song, dance, uh, words. They have to put something together that captures their mm. journey, and I'm looking forward to that because they had an interesting journey. They right. also were interrupted by COVID, so okay. the yes. second cohort that was interrupted. So. It's going to be interesting. I wish them well, and I hope that the graduation is a big success. I hope it is too. Yes. So can I ask, would you say now that Kimani is a born leader? Or so what? Can you say now that Kimani is a born leader, or was she molded into the leader she is today? She is, she is progressing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> she is making the steps. Okay. Yes. And we will, we will note based on the challenges that she that confronts her in the future and how she confronts those challenges uh -huh. and if she's able to motivate other people to to come with her and to follow her mm -hmm. yes that's that's going to be the hallmark of, of the leader of the leader mm -hmm. the ability 
to to see something that others don't see mm -hmm. and say come along let's go mm. and <laughs> pull them along towards that journey okay. and eventually arrive this safely okay good okay. stuff good stuff Alicia has good potential mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you and, and, and how does that make you feel listening yeah. to um how he would describe you ah how is it she will tell you the relationship has not always been Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting words in your mouth, Kiman. He's putting words in your mouth. That is so true. Because I remember that so there was an activity where we had to present Christmas there was an activity where we had to present Christmas cards to everyone within the class, okay. including Mr. Jenkins, and he in turn would write a card personally for us. Mm -hmm. And I remember his words, so our relationship wasn't <laughs> always perfect. <laughs> but I am learning and growing. So I am motivated actually after hearing these words and I've been questioning some stuff he's aware so yeah. it's it's refreshing oh okay. it is refreshing it's nice yeah. um the leader celebrity leaders celebration cocktail and award ceremony can you share with us some information about that I'd let, I'd let <laughs> okay, so as it was mentioned before, it is the 10th anniversary of the leadership course. And to celebrate this occasion, we're having a leaders celebrating leaders anniversary gala and awards ceremony mm -hmm. at Government House okay. on May 27th. That is this Saturday, beginning at 5.30 p.m. Mm. Okay. There will be entertainment, there will be giveaways, of course, food and drinks, and something for everyone. Okay. And you say at Government House? Yes, Government mm. House. Okay, so um, for cohort 10, can you share with us the registration process for persons who have been watching the yes. story and want to be a part of cohort 10? Okay. Be be before you go there, mm. Tickets are on sale okay. at Jenkins Limited opposite Uncle T's. You know where most people go to the kitchen, Uncle T's? <laughs> Uncle T's, Uncle T's yes. Jenkins Limited. You can get your tickets there or on Plush on Keon Street, $175. Or if you wish a table, if any are left, mm -hmm. it's $160 per person if you For the table. The table. Okay. And what's the dress code for the event? It's a black tie event, my brother. Okay. Black okay. Tie. All right. So, dress up nice and come. And quickly, the registration for cohort 10. Yeah. Registration, God's willing, if we announce it. Before that, is we're hoping to do a young leaders program in okay. the summer. The college is insisting that we try to go at a younger age. Okay. So that's an experiment that we will try this summer. And then October, God's willing, there will be the registration for the cohort 10. Registration is at the college or online. Okay. okay. And you can register. The last cost was $500 for the program in total. I'm not sure what it will be this time because bread has gone out, but so has cheese and butter. <laughs> so I'm not sure what it's going to be. Indeed, All right. Oh, Mr. Jenkins. But we normally are oversubscribed. Okay. Sometimes 60, 70 odd persons apply. We have to make choices down to 30, 35. Mm.